What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another review. This is a Transformers Titans Return review, and as you can see, I'm still missing Brainstorm, but we got three of the four main headmasters from the 1987 cartoon, or is it 88? I think it's 87 in America. Uh, we got Hardhead here. We got him all Hardhead with his Titan Master, Headmaster. We got Chrome Dome. That's what the review is on. And we got Highbrow. So, you know, this is what they all look like together. Pretty good. They're all good in scale with each other and whatnot. All right. Moving them out the way. This is Chrome Dome. He rolls pretty good. You just have to make sure to plop tab in those two tabs if you don't tab in those two tabs he's gonna drag and that's the other bummer about him these tabs right here tab are supposed to tab into those slots right there and they just don't really hold because this is like a gummy plastic see it's it's hard plastic but it's real gummy and i don't know maybe it's just the holes aren't made right but it's probably gonna wear the paint off trying to get it to stick good but and you can see that hasbro uses this shitty colored plastic he, all the details are like washed right out. You can't really see it. I mean, you can kind of see them, but you know what I mean. They're washed out. You can also do things like this. You can, uh, well, it can, I do this to try to fill up that empty space. There's a hole right there. You can do it like that. Or you can put it down here. Like that. Yeah, you can push it in more too if you want to look better or whatever. Um, or you, you can always push them on the sides of his vehicles like so uh, does that even I don't know if that's gonna work or not nope it's too big but uh yeah you could, I mean I suppose you could try to put it like this yeah but it's gonna drag so yeah but it's made to go up here cool so let's remove the uh, weapons Check out the vehicle really quickly. We got nice details here, Chrome Dome esque. I like how Hasbro's using the um, tampographed Autobot symbols with the outlines now, like they used to, like they're supposed to be. I hate this clear wheel stuff. You know, I was bragging about those clear wheels with Wheelie, but he had dark wheels with clear around it. Not the entire thing translucent, so you can see the the you know, joint system of how the toy works. You know, I just don't dig that. I dig paint, and, you know, it would have looked cool if they painted it and then did it, maybe. But, they, like, painted the rims. Got some red here. Got some red paint here. Yeah. So, you can go up, basically, you go up here, and you kind of attach this, and it goes back on a double hinge. And then you get the Titan Master. This is Stylor. I believe that's, yeah, it's the same name as, as you'd get from, um... G1. And he's got no paint, of course. Absolutely no paint. And there's that red plastic washing out the details, just like I was talking about. That's why I like to care totally. They use plastics that don't wash out the details. And you can put it down. They got nice paint. It's probably because they put so much paint on his head. But it looks nice. They got all the gray paint here on his helmet. They got the orange faceplate painted and the blue visor in the IDW esque style. So he can sit in this cockpit, of course. It's got, it's got a nice details molded in. See, that plastic's better. You can see the details in that. You got a little dash kind of thing up here, sort of. And you just sit him in there. And like that. Alright, so to transform him, and yeah, it just double hinges down, but it's on this kind of hinge, so you gotta attach it. I did that on purpose, but if you're light handed with it, it, it will work, but. If you don't, you gotta know how, you gotta know where to uh, attach the tabs and whatnot. But, anyways. So, yeah. So, put that back, kind of separate this. This is to transform it. Notice how he has no tail lights or, you know, the dual exhausts aren't painted in, slash feet. But he does have some headlights. That looks cool. And, um, yeah. So, you just, you. Pull these back like that. Take the arms out from these parts right here that kind of tabbed in. And just kind of hinge them out oh, some of the way. Then you go up under here and you start on doing like a Stunticons kind of. And you know he's not a he's not the same mold as a Stunticon. 
Then you flip it down like this, turn it around. Actually, before you do that, you kind of go get the knees out of the way. And you put these down as the front of his legs, pulling down his feet, like so. Reverting his waist around 180, so he's like that. And then you can separate the tabs, which are tabbed and really nice and heavy. And make sure everything's tabbed in there and there. And then you take this, you pull it on the double hinge, and there's two tabs, slots right there, and two tabs. That tabs in. Then you pull the arms out of the way, and you untab the two tabs I was talking about here and here. And you're going to want to use a little bit of force to tab them in. But to untab them, then it's on a double hinge, and you just use that double hinge to get this thing in. There's something in the way. There we go. To get this in the back. And you got to make sure that the arms are in the way to get it to go all the way back. And once the arms are out of the way, it will sit back nice and flush. And, just give it one second. and then we want to stand him up, pull out his fists, like so. And get him to go. All you gotta pull up, he's got a hinge on a it's like a hinge ball joint. See how it hinges up, but it's also on a ball joint. And once you pull that hinge up all the way, you can pull the this more, even more secure on his back. Then you just stand him up, you get Stylor, flip him around, put his head on him, like so. And then you get weights on him, make sure that's good. There we go, and there we go. And then you can take the guns and you can plug them in. And give him his dual cannons like he had in G1. Red cannons. Uh, this one's always giving me trouble. <laughs> That's point of view. There we go. So he looking good. Actually, he's, I might just stick with him versus getting the Takara one, but you'll see. <laughs> his head works a little bit better than some of the Hasbro's, but still has that wobbly effect. I like how the... Takara, especially Go Shooter. If you watch my Go Shooter wheelie review, I pop his head on the Scourge and he's able to just move around and stay. I mean, he can kind of do it with Form but he still has that little bit of that bobblehead feel. And uh, he's got the hinge that goes out like this. It's also on a hinge here, so you can get it to go more up if you'd like, but you don't really need to. That's for transformation. Um, it's got a bicep swivel. You can, you know, swivel on 360 on the ball joint itself. 90 degree bend at the elbow is a waist swivel. He's got kick front all the way up, all the way back, all the way out. So full splits for chrome dome. Yeah. He's got an upper thigh swivel and a 90 degree bend at the knee. Plus he can go down and up on his foot. So that's kind of cool. You can get him some and kind of get in some toe poses like, like that. Let's get one right now. There. See? All right. We'll get another little pose for him. Show you how he poses around. There we go. All right. Here he is with the three out of the four main headmasters uh, from the 87 cartoon we got hardhead chrome dome and highbrow still need a brainstorm but i'll probably find him at at walgreens sometime i do go there enough so yeah they looking good man i probably will skip the takaras i mean they're just expensive there's other figures out there to get i mean i like them i love them actually but they're just you know even just ten dollars more i mean i just picked up these Chrome Dome, and I have Weird Wolf too for ten dollars. I could get these two for ten as well. Walmart. <laughs> so yeah, these are cool figures. Um, we're gonna stop the review right there. Uh, actually, not right there. Hold on a second. I got a few pictures to show you, and then we're gonna stop the review. So in a few minutes. But this is the end of this part of the review, of the transformation part, the articulation part, and all that fun stuff. All right.
All right, let me know what you think of the review. Good little stop motion, fun pictures. And uh, yeah, so just like, comment, subscribe. I got actually got the real link to my Facebook. I figured out how to do that. It's in the link in the description below. And link in the description below for my Twitter, my Facebook. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.